what's up fight fans welcome back to the channel today we are diving into the main card predictions for ufc 303 this card is stacked with some incredible matchups so let's get right into it we are breaking down the fights on the main card giving you our predictions and what to look out for don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update let's start with the first fight of the night The first fight of the night on the main card is Ayam Machado Gary versus Mike Evan on page. Mike Evan on page uh, made his first fight in the UFC against uh, Kevin Holland, and I believe he dominated throughout the three rounds. He dominated the fight. Um, I don't think you know you, he has a very awkward style. I don't think Kevin Holland wasn't able to solve him. He wasn't able to calculate uh, how he fought. You know. So I believe uh, anybody that wants to fight this guy, they really need to study him very well. He has a very fast hand. He's very fast in decision making. So uh, Kevin Holland was not up to his level. Yes, he wasn't up to his level. But I think the UFC just gave him Kevin Holland to welcome him into the UFC. Uh, you know, he's not number 14 in the World Tower division. But what I don't like about this guy is that, you know, he's trying to rush himself. I don't know, maybe because he's not getting younger. He's now 36 or so. So he's trying to rush himself into the top 10, top 5. I don't know why he's doing that. Um, this same thing that UFC did for Michael Chandler that didn't really favor him. He really favor his career. When Michael Chandler came into the UFC back then, he said he will be the one to defeat Khabib. He will be the one to get the light, uh, light weight belt, you know, in a very short time. But you know, he wasn't able to do that. He defeated number nine rank uh, Danuka, and he believed he was the he was the next lightweight uh, champion or something. You know, they tried to brush him, but what happened at the end of the day? Charles Oliveira, you know, knocked him out. And since then, you know, he only had one win against uh, Tony Ferguson or so. So, I don't know, you know, when the UFC is trying to hype you up as the next big thing, you know, you really need to be careful. You really need to be careful because, you know, you are the people you met in the game, they are not dollars. They are not just there to fill the space. They are there fighting for the same thing you came to meet. So, I believe this is what will happen. In this case, Ian Gary and uh, Michael Page. Ian has proven himself, even though the UFC fans, they don't really, you know, due to recent occurrences, due to recent happenings uh, in his life, you know, many people turn against him. But I believe in the cage, in the octagon, he has really proven himself to be a top fighter. So uh, I'm, I'm going with Ian Gary in this one. I believe he has all the tools, he has all the uh, necessary skills to defeat this guy only if you could you know match up with the speed he told Ari Ewane that he's up to this task he's he has studied him very well and he will beat him in this game so let's hope we get a good fight so I'm going with Ian Gary in this the next fight on the main card is women's bantam with division Mira Beno Silva from Brazil and um, Mizzy Charson. I think Mira fought for the belt against Raquel the other time and Raquel defeated her. So I believe he has, she has learned her lessons and she's back. So let's hope we we'll get a good fight. I'm going with her. I believe uh, there are weaknesses uh, showed in that fight against uh, Raquel, but I believe she has learned her lessons right now. So. She has learned a lesson so far, so I'm going with her on this one. Who do you think will win? Share your comments. The next one we have is Anthony Smith versus Roman Dalitze. Anthony Smith came on short notice, and Roman Dalitze, I think the fight was supposed to be Jama Hill and uh, Carlos Obag, right? But they, they both pulled out of the fight, so uh, Roman Dalitze uh was fighting in the middleweight division so uh he's moving up right now 
I think uh, he fought uh, his uh, last fight in the middleweight division. So he's moving up right now to test himself against a veteran in Anthony Smith. So uh, I believe uh, it will be a very good fight. Uh, but I'm going on this one with Roman Dolice. I believe the guy has a lot of power. Did you watch his fight against Marvin Vettori? He almost knocked out Vettori. He has a lot of power. So I'm going with Roman on this one. Brian Ortega versus Diego Lopez. Diego Lopez uh, knocked out Yusuf the uh, last time he fought. Um, it was a very short fight. Uh, I believe he's a veteran in the sport too. And I believe he has a lot of knockout power. The same thing with Brian Ortega. I believe, uh, you know, he fought uh, against Volk at uh, that time uh, for the belt. But, uh, you know, Volkanovski being the great one, you know, he won at the end of the day. The fight was very tough. And uh, Brian, I think he took some time off because of injury and he came back again. He won his last fight. So uh, on this one, I don't know who to go for, but I believe this Diego Lopez is very dangerous. He's a very dangerous guy. So I'm going with him on this one. We have the main event, Alex Poatan Pereira versus Jiri Poyaska from Czech Republic. Oh, uh, this is a good fight, you know. Both of them are very hungry. Alex came into the game, came into the UFC, uh, you know, and within two and a half years, he has become a uh, double uh, champion. You know, he was middleweight champion before Easy knocked him out. Then he came to the lightweight, and you know, he has been rocking them since. So this fight is going to be a very tough one because Jiri Poraska, you know, he knocked out Rakik, you know. He was very tough uh, in that fight against Rakik. And, um, you know, he has learned his lessons what not to do against Alex Pereira. And I believe he, he would have improved himself. And though this fight is, a, is on short notice, I think two weeks, you know, they had, both of them had a short time to prepare for each other. But I believe, you know, being in the octagon before, they would have studied each other very well. And, you know, they would have made all the changes they need to make. So this fight is going to be very tough for both of them. It's not an easy fight for any of them because Alex still carries that power in his left hook. And Pereira, uh, Pereira too, the same thing. He's very good with his takedown. Not that he's an elite wrestler, but at least he's better than Alex in that aspect. So I believe, you know, both of them are going to capitalize on their individual weaknesses and um, you know they are going to use that to their advantage so on this one i don't know who to go for honestly i don't know because both of them they are very hungry they are uh, you know they are the elite of that division right now so um this one i'm indecisive on this one who do you think will win do you think alex will actually knock out jury again the way he did in the first fight do you think jury will knock out alex who do you think will win uh, please comment your predictions let's see who we choose um, please subscribe like and share this video thank you for watching see you later bye